This is Alan with the Growing Network. Welcome. Today on tap, smoked maple glazed cranberry brie cheese. I'll be cooking it in one of my cast iron skillets from Finax on one of my pellet smokers. This video is a collaboration between Ned from Dutch Oven Daddy and myself, where I'll be cooking this dish in one of my smokers and he'll be doing it indoor. Let's get cooking. As I mentioned earlier, we're using one of my pellet smokers. I am cooking with pecan to give it a mild added smoke flavor. I have it preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. To start off, we have one quarter cup of dehydrated cranberries. And to rehydrate them, we're gonna add just a little bit of water. Place the lid on top of our cast iron skillet and toss it inside the smoker for about five to 10 minutes. We'll check back on it and make sure that it's going okay. It's been roughly five minutes. Let's check on our cranberries. The beauty of cooking with cast iron is the ability to place it inside an oven or an outdoor cooker like I did. Make sure you use a hot pad. These are done. The easy pour spouts is going to make it easy for me to pour into a dish, set it aside. Let's get the brie cheese ready. We'll see you back soon. The next step is preparing your brie cheese. When you buy it from your local grocery store, it will typically come with a white film around it. In order for the pecan smoke to penetrate the cheese, you'll need to remove the top layer, as I did here off camera. Place it inside your cast iron skillet and we'll toss inside our smoker anywhere from five to 10 minutes, but make sure you check on it periodically because as soon as the cheese starts to soften, it'll be ready for the next step. As part of this collaboration, I reached out to Michael from Barrel Age Creations from where I got this recipe from, got his permission to add my spin to it. They make 100% pure maple syrup. It's a tedious process, but if you call him, he'll be more than happy to share that with you. It's been 10 minutes and we pulled out the brie cheese for the next step, we're going to toss on some cranberries. Has a nice aroma. Next, we'll add some pecans, about a quarter cup. Now we'll add some 100% pure maple syrup. Toss it back into the smoker so that the maple has time to glaze up. We'll see you back in a few minutes. It's been five minutes. Let's pull off our smoked brie cheese. That looks and smells phenomenal. The barrel aged maple syrup, you can definitely smell the caramelization of it. Let's let this rest for a few minutes and we'll give it a try. It's been a few minutes and had time to cool down. Let's give it a taste test. Make sure you get a nice healthy spoonful of the pecans, cranberries, and cheese. All right. Wow, that was absolutely phenomenal. There's a lot going on in here. The cranberries, the pecans, the cheese, the crackers, the mild smoke from the smoker, they all worked well together, but that barrel aged maple syrup definitely took this to another level. If you guys are looking to impress your family and friends, make sure you do this recipe. Also make sure you check out Dutch Oven Daddy where he recreated this indoors. Thanks for watching this collaboration. Make sure you check out Dutch Oven Daddy, Barrel Age Creations. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, click that bell icon below, and we'll see you on the next one.